you get mentioned in my name. We don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can suck my dick. Yeah, SMTP server. So SMTP server connects with the recipient uh, SMTP server using port number 25. Okay, so SMTP server listens on port number 25 and handles outgoing email. When the client sends an email, it connects with uh, to the SMTP server. The client has conversation with the SMTP server, telling the SMTP server the address of the sender, the recipient, and the body of the message. So SMTP server takes the two addressee and breaks it into two parts the recipient name and the domain name then the SMTP server has a conversation with the domain name server gets uh, the identified information to the domain name domain of the remote uh, email server and connects to the SMTP or to the remote email server POP3 and IMAP servers so POP3 server the email server is used only for incoming emails okay so when a message arrives the pop3 server appends it to the button of the recipient account file which can be retrieved by the email client at any preferred time and then you have imap internet message access protocol server so email client connects to the imap server using uh, Default port number that is 143. So email servers allow multiple concurrent clients connection to the same mailbox. I have email message and email message is composed of three parts: header, body, and signature. So header, a email email header contains information about the email origin, such as the address from where it came the routing uh, time of the message and the subject line some of the header information that is usually important to a technician is kept uh, hidden by the email software then you have body body contains the actual message and signature uh, used by signature sender to provide information to the recipient about the senders now what is the importance of electronic records uh, management so electronic record management may be defined as the field of management responsible for the efficient and systematic control of the creation receipt maintenance use and disposition of electronic records including the process uh, for capturing the process for capturing and maintaining evidence of an information for legal, fiscal, administrative and other business purposes. So what is the importance of uh, electronic record management? It helps in non-repudiation of electronic communication so that someone cannot deny being the source of communication. It acts as a deterrent for abusive and indecent materials so in email messages. It helps in the investigation and prosecution of email crimes we have email crimes so ease speed and relative anonymity of email makes it potent tool for criminals so email crime can be divided into two categories one is crime committed by sending emails and crime supported by emails so email spamming email bombing phishing comes under crime committed by sending emails and harassment cyber blackmailing identifying fraud pornography and etc comes under crime supported by emails I have email spamming so spamming can be defined as sending unsolicited emails spammer obtains uh, email addresses by gathering addresses uh, from usenet posting dns listing or web pages mail bombing and mail storm so mail bombing send uh, sending huge volumes of uh, email to an address is an in an attempt to overflow the mailbox or overwhelm the server where email addresses is hosted to cause a denial of 
service attack that's called mail bombing we have mail storm so it is a sudden spike of uh, reply all message on an email distribution list caused by one misdirected message we have phishing phishing it is a criminal act of sending an illegitimate email for falsely claiming to be from a legitimate site in an attempt to acquire the user's personal and account information so phishing emails redirect the users to fake web pages of uh, trustworthy sites that ask them to submit their personal information